My name is Dr Hilary Flett and I am a GP in St Helens and I'm going to try and answer a few questions following the announcement that the Pfizer Covid vaccine is now available, which is really, really good news for us all. The first question is, um, when will I be able to have the vaccine? And there are going to be three main areas or hub types that you can go and get your vaccine at. The first site is a hospital hub. Um, they are places where the vaccines can be stored at very low temperatures. Um, and obviously there aren't that many places in the UK which have got tem uh, fridges which will store down to minus 80. So there's not that many uh, uh, of those big hospital hubs across the country. There are going to be mass vaccination centres which are going to have really good transport links to get to. And then there's going to be local vaccine services which are going to be provided by your GP providers. Who is going to get the vaccine first? Pfizer vaccine is going to be going to the hospital hubs. We are looking forward to being able to roll out vaccines into the community and our first cohort of people to get the vaccine will be our care home residents, our residential home residents, the staff that look after that group of people, and then in the community are over 80s. We have to coordinate the supply of the first vaccine and then the follow-up second vaccine as well. Can you book your vaccine appointment now with your GP or online? Not yet, hold your horses. Uh, we are getting all of these processes in place, but as I said, it's quite a complex job to coordinate the supply of the vaccine so that when we get your first vaccine, we've got you online for your second vaccine as well, because that is the most effective way to vaccinate you against COVID. What we do need you to do is when you do get your appointment card through or you get a phone call or you get a text message or you get your email, which will give you information about the vaccine that you're going to receive, we need you to be able to respond to that promptly and make your appointment so that you get your slot as soon as you can do. As more vaccine becomes available, we will be rolling out the programme to differing age groups and at the moment we're starting with our most elderly and then we're going down and we'll be working down through five-year cohorts so it will be the over 80s then it will be the 75 to 79 year olds the 70 to 74 year olds and so on so who is going to do the vaccinations well a large bulk of the vaccinations will be provided by the primary care sites and hubs will be delivered by appropriately trained assessed and supervised members of uh, staff and clinicians. Is the vaccine safe and should you be worried? Vaccinations are something which have made a massive, massive impact over the years on the public health. We no longer have smallpox and that was due to a vaccine. We reduce and prevent between two and three million deaths a year from diseases like tetanus, diphtheria, measles and the flu because of the vaccination programme. All the vaccines in this uh, for, for COVID are going through rigorous trials, rigorous tests and are not being licensed until we know that they are safe to use. I will be getting my COVID vaccine as soon as I am invited, as will my husband, who is also a GP, as will all of my colleagues. So I have no doubts that the COVID vaccine is the right thing to do. A question about COVID vaccines and the flu jab. So if you are eligible to have a flu jab, you need to get your flu vaccine and you need to get it done as quickly as possible. And you need to get in contact with your GP surgery who should be able to provide that for you. The, the rule of thumb is that if you've had a flu vaccine, you need to leave seven days before you are eligible for a COVID vaccine. I think it is important for you to go and get your flu vaccine before Christmas. And then after Christmas, we're up and running and ready to go with the COVID vaccinations. Take care, everyone. Keep safe. Remember the message. Wash your hands. Keep your face mask on. Keep your two metres. That's two shopping trolleys and a bit more. OK, so take care. Bye.